Hey everyone, Nicole Cizak with Fit Foodist Nutrition here. Today we're doing a fun little experiment. So I don't know if you have seen the videos circulating on social media of Pepsi being poured onto a piece of pork and worms come out. So there's been a lot of controversy around that, whether it's fake or not, whether it was embellished or just sort of a kitchen hack. So we're gonna see if this is Fit Foodist approved. Now I do know that pork is, especially conventional pork, rife with parasites. I have never seen them personally come out of a piece of pork. We're gonna see if this tried and true method actually works. Um, so let's give it a try. Right. It's probably a combination of the chemicals and the carbonation that is really creating an uninhabitable environment for any worms that might be hanging out in this piece of park. I don't see anything yet. So it's been about four minutes. We did the initial pour and waited. Nothing happened, so we decided to drain it and now we're gonna give it another try. So it's really hard to tell, like, that's probably just part of the fat. There's definitely nothing wiggling or coming out like there was so very clearly in the video circulating on the internet. And so it's been about 10 minutes now and we're still seeing no worms in the uh, pork. So I think we're gonna call the experiment and just some hypothesis here on why we didn't get the results that we were hoping or that we saw in the video circulating on social media. Well, for number one, we have what appears to be a very different cut of meat than the kind she had. And we're not sure if freshness is a factor. She had mentioned that she got it fresh, not sure how she's qualifying that. Uh, we got this prepackaged at a local grocery store here. So it didn't come, you know, fresh from the butcher. Not sure if that's a factor or not. And then three, we don't really know if there's worms in every single cut of pork ever bought. So the odds, you know, might be against us uh, right now. So, and we also don't know how many times she uh, completed the experiment before capturing the worms on video, what was happening behind the scenes, lots of variables and factors that are just outside of our control right now. So even though we didn't see worms crawl out of these pieces of pork, which to be honest, I'm kind of bummed about because I thought it would be super gross, but yet cool at the same time. <laughs> I personally have struggled with parasites uh, in my own healing journey. So definitely I'm always very cautious about the types of meat and the quality of meat. Of course, if you can buy local and with at a farm uh, where you know the farmers, you know their practices, and you know that it's really good quality meat and the animals are being taken very good care of. That's obviously the best. Um, conventional pork and meat in general is just riddled with um, toxins, antibiotics. The animals aren't um, fed appropriate diets and they're not really kept in ideal living quarters. They're 
not really given the space to roam. So there's a lot of, you know, ethical practices around conventional meat that could be improved. Um, but health-wise, I do know for a fact, speaking from personal experience, that there you can find worms in meat and fish because we had bought a brand new fresh piece of rockfish from Whole Foods and while my husband was unwrapping it the worm fell out so keep your eye out and uh, just be aware of the kinds of quality of meat you're consuming um, especially if you are prone to chronic illness and parasites because speaking from personal experience it is not something you really want to deal with if you can avoid it so that's it for today. Uh, we debunked this myth. Now, if we repeated it multiple times, I'm not sure if we would eventually find a worm. I'm sure we might. But all in all, it doesn't seem like the Pepsi trick is as effective as we all thought. So, stay tuned for more videos from me on Fit Foodist Nutrition. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at fitfoodist underscore foundations and check out my website www.fitfoodist.com to learn more about my nutritional therapy practices and to read tons of informational blogs and content on gut health, hormones, and how to better manage stress and anxiety. So I'll see you in the next video.